Hey there, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. So I wanted to shoot the vlog this week on a topic that I had to search in our vlog page to see if I'd already covered it because of course I would have and I haven't and I'm stunned. I'm like, no way in five years I haven't shot a vlog on one day at a time. Um, this might be the most foundational concept in bright line eating, uh, like just taking this one day at a time. And I, I was thinking about a topic that would be helpful for people just starting out because I know a big crop of people just signed up for the bright line eating bootcamp. A lot of people have signed up for the 14 day challenge lately. And, you know, literally thousands upon thousands of people are starting their bright line eating journeys right now. Um, and I know that I have videos on one day at a time in the boot camp and in the 14 day challenge, but um, maybe it'll just be like a little bit of a heads up. Like, yeah, this is that important. This is what I want you focused on at the beginning of your bright line eating journey. So here's the thing about one day at a time. Um, it is the antidote to the number one basic move that the saboteur is going to try on you to try to get you to eat off your plan at the beginning, which is there's no way that you can possibly not eat fill in the blank sugar flour food, right? Forever and ever and ever. There's no way that you're not going to eat something at Thanksgiving or on a cruise, or there's no way that you're going to go the next umpty years of your life forever not eating whatever your favorite food is, right? Ergo, you should eat this right now. <laughs> you know, um, It is the number one thing that will start to play in your head. And if you start to think, that's right, I don't think I could possibly forever and ever and ever not eat that food. It is the beginning of the unraveling of the mental state of being able to make any kind of serious life change. There's no way that you could be faithful to your spouse forever. There's no way that you could possibly meditate every day for the rest of your life. There's no way you could. Why don't we just one day at a time, one day at a time, take today and let tomorrow and all the tomorrows after that, that haven't arrived here yet and never will be here because when they get here, it's suddenly magically today. Why don't we just focus on today, just this one day and let all of that imaginary future take care of itself. It is the antidote to all the mental squirrels. It honestly doesn't matter if you eat cake, ice cream, pizza tomorrow, the next day, next year at the wedding, at the, on the cruise, go ahead and do it. As a matter of fact, it's weird if you go to, um, you know, meetings where people have been gathered for decades saying, you know, my name's Jimmy and I'm an alcoholic and I'm not drinking today, but I might drink tomorrow. You know, Jimmy's been sober 30 years saying that every day. And it's like his joke. Everybody laughs. You know, Jimmy never drinks today. He always talks about drinking tomorrow. And it's just this, it's, it's his way of like, making a little flip on the saboteur in his mind that tries to say, you'll have to drink at some point in the future, so why don't you drink today, right? One day at a time, you can do anything, anything. It's this, it's this focus on breath, the present moment, this day, you're safe, you're fine, you got your meals written down in your little book, you know what you're gonna eat, you can picture those meals, one day at a time, you focus on what is present today. It is the antidote to so much. Uh, it is amazing how we can do for one day something that we could never imagine doing for a lifetime. And as the Bright Line Eating journey begins, that day, the one day, gets placed, done and dusted, and then you wake up and suddenly it's today again. And you take that day and you focus on your three way to measured meals and it gets placed in its spot right next to day one in a foundation. And then you go to sleep and you wake up again and it's today and you focus on today and that day gets placed. And if you're writing in your food journal, day one, day two, day three, like I taught you, you will watch them start to accumulate 
and the most magical thing happens. Your brain starts to heal. You start to stabilize. What was really, really, really hard at first gets faced a second or third time and suddenly isn't as hard. Rhythms and routines start to accumulate and these days get placed in this foundation. Suddenly it's day 12. Suddenly it's day 37. And you're like, how did that happen? Holy smoke, a doodles. I've been doing this for 37 days. Suddenly it's day 96. The day comes when you're transitioning to maintenance and you're at goal weight. It happens one day at a time. And when you keep your focus on the day that's true and real, the day in which you have some control, your actions matter in today. Your actions don't matter in tomorrow. Your actions matter in today. And when you keep your focus on the day that matters and make sure you show up for this day, the way it's calling you to show up, all of a sudden a bright future gets built. It's the most beautiful thing. So this week, I invite you to watch your mind and see if your saboteur is trying to get you to think about tomorrow and the next day and the dinner party and the blah, blah, blah out in the future. And remind yourself, we'll let that day take care of itself on the day when it's today. And I will keep my thinking one day at a time because I don't have to do this tomorrow but I'm choosing to do it today. There is no gun to my head. It's a choice for today to do the thing that will serve me best, to have a bright day, one day at a time. It's the only way this works. Nobody does this forever. Nobody does this forever. We do it one day at a time together, and I'm doing it today with you. And that's the weekly vlog. I'll see you next week.